Okay, sixth grade, lesson 116. This one is on com compound interest. Now, let me do explain it a little bit because probably up to this point, you have not learned anything about money because you haven't put any money in the bank. Unless you have savings, then you would have. But <clears throat> basically, um, the money that you give to the bank um, is called the principal, okay? It's what you deposit. It's called principal, not like the principal of the school, okay? Which is still spelled the same principal, but it's not the same principal, okay? Principal is the, I'm just gonna put a D for what you deposit, okay? The money that you put in, deposit means put in, put into the bank, okay? So let's say you put in $100, okay? Now, that would be called the principal or the deposit, okay? Now, because you gave the, the bank money, they will give you interest every year. So, interest is what you gain on that money by letting the bank hold it. You let the bank hold it and you get interest. Okay, the longer you let the bank hold it, the longer it builds up. Okay, so, this time, uh, um, interest is always different. So some banks will do 6%, some will do 5%, some will do 10%. It all depends on what the bank does, okay? But this bank on the book, when we're learning, they're gonna do 6% interest. So how would I get 6%? I would take $100 and I would multiply it. Now, what is 6% as a decimal? But let's first make it into a fraction. What? I said 0.6. Close. But first, we have to make it into a fraction. Yes, make it into a fraction first. Okay. Six over 100. And then that reduced, well, half of six is three, and half of 100 is 50, okay? Keep going. Hmm? Actually, let's do it, let's do it a different way. Let's do it like this. Okay, so if six over 100, okay, yeah, I was trying, I'm sorry, I went off on a different level. I want to do something different. Six over 100, I'm wanting to make it into a decimal number, I just remembered. Sorry, I was doing what we were doing earlier. Okay, so anyway. Okay, so six over 100, then I have a decimal, tenth hundredth. So where does the six go if it's in the hundredth spot? Right here, right? Yeah. So what goes here? That, so Zero. Yeah. So... 6% is 6 over 100, which is 0 0.06 as a decimal. Okay, <clears throat> so if I want to find 6% of 100, of means what math? Times. Multiply. So I'm taking 6% of this 100, and I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.06, because that's what it is as a decimal. Okay, and so let's do that. Um, and then those are just the zeros. Let me just do something real quick. So one, two, one, two. How much money, whoops, how much money is 6% of 100? Um, how much money? Yeah. $6. $6. Okay. So after one whole year of um, your money sitting in the bank, guess how much you gained? $6. $6. So after the first year, you got six dollars. So now you have what? After the first year. Uh huh. Second year, you get ten percent or six percent of that the original amount that you put in. So you get six more dollars. Now you have one hundred twelve. Third year, you get six more dollars, which ends up being one hundred and eighteen. Okay. Since I lost spawn. Okay, so after three years, how much money do you have in the bank? 180. So how much did you gain? 18 bucks. Okay, this is with simple interest. Okay. Now, let me explain to you what compound interest is because it's actually way better. Okay, compound interest is this. Let me show you what happens. With okay, now this time we're going to learn about something called compound interest okay it's totally different than simple because after the first year we got hundred six dollars now we're going to take six percent of this new number last time we took six percent of the original and every time we just added six bucks now every time we get a new amount every year we're going to take 
6% of the new amount, okay? So 6% of this is, let's figure it out. 6 times 6 is 36, 7, 8, 9, no, wait, 6, sorry. 3, 6, 1, 6, and then zeros, and then so 1, 2. So <clears throat> after the second year, how much money did I have? $6.36. Okay, wait a minute. That's just how much the interest was. I had $106. So now what do I do? 6% of the 106 is $6.36. So it's just adding 36 cents. No. More than the simple. Yes, but we have to add this fullness to our orig the original amount in the first year. So it'd be twelve dollars and right. Hundred so so I'm gonna put one hundred and twelve dollars and thirty six cents, right? Mm -hmm. So after the second year, this is how much money I had. Now let's figure out what it's gonna be after the third or after this next year, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna take six percent of this. Okay, so here we go. Six times six is thirty six. Six times three, <laughs> eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 6, 7, 2, 12, 13, 14, 6, 7, 6. Okay? And then you I drop the zero, I mean, decimal. Yes. <laughs> Time out. Okay, so we get this number, and now we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Because there are four pla <coughs> places after the decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now, this is kind of new learning. So this is $6.74, but we always look to the number to the right to see if we need to round this up, okay? But money only goes after the second decimal. <laughs> so if I look to the right, is it five or higher? Uh, no. No, so this stays the same. If it was five or higher, you would up it, okay? But it isn't, so $6.74 is added to our new amount. So now, It'd be 112.36 plus 6.74, and we would get. Sorry, I'm just trying to do this quickly. Whoops. 11, 7, 8, 9, so, <clears throat> by the end of three years, what would our total amount, amount be? $119.10. Uh, Very good. When we were doing the simple interest, it was only 118. Now, while that may not look like a big deal, when you put like thousands of dollars in <clears throat> the first part and you start compounding it, it gets very, very, very big and largely inflated, okay? And you'll learn that actually in the next eighth grade year, okay? Or seventh grade year, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I wanna teach you a quick little trick, <clears throat> okay? Now, we've talked about simple interest and compound. Can you describe to me what's the difference? Simple uh, it doesn't raise it as much. And it only but why? Only... What does it only do? Um... It's only taking a percentage of the original amount. Oh, and it does... Compound, compound does, does what? On each extra does it every time the new year starts, it starts taking 6% of that new one. Yeah. So which one's better? Compound. Very good. <laughs> now, I want to teach you a new little trick. You remember how a while ago we were taking $100 and then we multiplied it by 6% and we got the amount, $6, and then we had to add $100 plus the $6 to then get $106. Look how many steps we had to take. Many of them, didn't we? I'm going to teach you a trick. So watch what happens. I'm going to add a 1 in front of the percentage amount. So if 6%, this is 0.06%, I'm gonna put a one in front of it. Do you know what that does? What? That adds this amount already into it. Cause watch, I'm gonna take six times zero and get zero. Six times zero. Is this for compound? This is for either one. Oh. Six times zero is zero, six times zero is zero, six times one is six, <coughs> zero times zero is zero, zero times zero is zero, and zero times one is zero. But now check this one out. One times zero is zero, one times zero is zero, and one times one is one. So what did I do to my problem? I added 100 in it already. So when I add it all together, and then let's go one, two, one, two, guess what? I get my final amount. 
without having to take two steps. Yeah. It just went on and did all the steps in one part of the problem just by me adding this one. And by me adding that one, it went on and put that 100 into the problem to add it. Okay. okay? So it really helps to put that in there. Okay. Okay. So now let me show you something. <clears throat> We're going to use that method from here on out. <clears throat> Let's say I put $2,000 in. A lot more money. And I'm going to do 10%. Okay. <clears throat> so watch what happens. Okay. 10% would look like what as a decimal? Um, point 10, 10 over 100. Just point 10. Point 10. Very good. Okay. Point 10. Now, what did I tell you my new trick was to find out my you just add a whole one. price? Yes. I'm going to put my 1 in there, and that's going to give me the whole price as my answer. So, ready? 0 times 0, 0 times 0, 0 times 0, 0 times 2, 0. <clears throat> 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 0, 1 times 0, 1 times 2. 1 times 0, 1 times 0, 1 times 0, and 1 times 2, 2. All right, now we're going to add all this up. 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 2. Now, 1, 2, and then go 1, 2. What is my amount now? $2,200. $2,200 and 0 cents. You gained $200. <laughs> I gained 200 Now, if you're wanting to know how much I gained, then I would just need to do that. Yeah. But if I'm wanting to know the final price with the gain, I add that 1 in there, right? Okay, <laughs> so now, this is what we made after the first year, okay? Mm -hmm. So now, now I'm going to take that amount, 2200 okay? And I'm going to do 10% um, of this new amount. So this was the first, this is what we had after the first year. Let's figure out what we're going to have after the second year, okay? I'm going to do 10% again, and 10%, I want to figure out the total amount, okay? So what am I going to do? You're going to add a 1. <clears throat> right. Okay, now I'm going to also do another trick and go 1.1 1. 1 and then put my zeros all at the end. Remember that trick? Uh-huh. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. So then all these 1, 2, 3s are right here. So we can get rid of all those 0 times 0 and 0 times 1 and 0 times 2 and 0 times this. We got rid of all that. Okay. Okay. Now, let's do this. 1 times 2, 2. 1 times 2, 2. 1 times 2, 2. And 1 times 2, 2. My final amount is zero, 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 two, four, two. <laughs> and because I had two zeros um, originally, so one, two, <clears throat> or two spots after, one, two. What's my final amount? One, two, uh, two thousand. Two thousand four hundred twenty. And zero dollars, or zero cents. Okay, so after the second year, how much money do I have? 2,420. Now that's our new amount, 2,420. Now I'm gonna multiply that again. Let's figure out what we're gonna make on the third year. Okay, so I'm gonna times that by 1.10. Bring my zeros down. One times two, one times four, one times two, one times two, one times four, one times two. Bring all those down. I'm just doing real quick math. There we go. Now, one, two, one, two. What's my final amount? $2,662. Okay? So, after three years, that's how much I have. So, I started with $2,000. Now, I have $2,662. So, I gained $662. That is lesson 116. 